everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you something that I'm sure will interest you is doing makeup without using your brushes. So let's begin girls. First thing first, let's start with moisturizing. I usually prefer to moisturize before uh, doing makeup without you know using brushes is because it helps the foundation glide on better. Uh, it's easier, less patchy and your foundation looks fresh. But also hydrate your under eye. That's the driest area of all. Then your liquid foundation. Stick to liquid foundations but if you have a cream foundation or a concealer, you can mix it with a moisturizer and then just mix it and make it a liquid foundation. Apply it all over, especially where you think you require coverage. And then just massage it into your skin. Yes, I do apply my liquid foundation like I would apply a moisturizer. Because I think nothing blends better than your own fingertips. Next comes in my concealer. I'm gonna blend my concealer using my index finger. Because an index finger is very light onto your skin, helps you blend better. So just apply it near your eye bone or your cheekbone and make sure to blend it upwards. Just do tapping motions and you'll be good to go. Then just apply your concealer wherever you require, especially if you have an acne or a scar or around your nose for the redness or I guess just your upper lip and lower lip. And oh, I forgot about the main part, the eyebrows. Yes, you can apply some concealer under your eyebrows to give it a more sharp and defined look. Time to set the foundation and concealer using a translucent powder. Wondering how? A cotton swab. That's all. Dip in the cotton swab into the translucent powder and first only set your under eye. The reason I'm asking you to set your under eye only is you'll find out later. Just dab on translucent powder under the eye, let it sit there for a while so your concealer will not crease and using the cleaner side of the cotton, just dust off any extra remaining powder. Next is blush on. I prefer using tint or cream blushes when there are no brushes involved. I'm just going to put on some tint on the apple of my cheeks and blend it using my fingers again. For this I prefer using my middle finger because I feel it gives me more grip and also blends my blush better. Remember why I had asked you not to apply translucent powder all over your face? For this reason. If we would have set the entire face using a translucent powder, a cream or a tint would have been a little difficult to blend. And if you still think you have some harsh lines left, don't worry. Just dab on some translucent powder on the harsh line and blend it well. Time for the bronzer or contouring. You can completely skip this part, but if you're interested, just blend it upwards. So as for your nose contour, using the middle finger again, and then comes the jawline. Time 
time for eyes. For eyes, I prefer sticking to creamy products when there are no brushes involved. So I'm just gonna slap on some shimmery nice eyeshadow and blend it upwards. But at the same time, I think my eyes do need definition. I'm gonna do that using a earbud. I'm gonna dip in the earbud in the eyeshadow of your choice and then just apply it near my lash line. I can use the cleaner side of the earbud to give it a nice smoky look. Same with the upper lash line. We're all done and it's time for mascara. Next would be your liquid highlighter. I'm just going to apply the liquid highlighter to the highest points of my face. That's cheekbones, nose, cupid bow, under the eyebrow, a little on my forehead to get that glow and blend it using my index finger again. Time for a lip color. I'm gonna mix my lip color with a little Carmex that is petroleum jelly. And the reason I do that is because when there are no brushes involved, your lipstick can get patchy, you can need corrections. So this step ensures that I already have a light base of the lip color, plus they are moisturized, so less patchiness and less correction. All done, time to set it using a makeup fixer. And we're good to go. I hope you found this useful and loved it. I will see you next time with a new video. Till then, take care and goodbye.